Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Petrowski, and with the Christmas event coming up, I'm looking for all kinds of ways and money-making methods to make Potion with a Potion MMO. So today, we're going to be covering a decently low-requirement money-making method that is super underrated and has a really interesting spot in the economy right now. So let's go ahead and get into it, and hopefully I can explain that to you guys in a proper way. In short, what we're going to be doing today is catching Torkoal here in Hoenn. Now, I'm starting in Lava Ridge Town, and I'll show you guys how to get to the spot we're going to need to catch them. But first, let's go ahead and get into why it's it's a good money-making method right now. So Torkoals are just super capitalized on the GTL right now. Getting a Torkoal with good IVs will go for a really decent amount of Pokéen, especially compared to uh, any other sort of Pokémon with decent IVs. But... There's also a really important use for Torkoal. Low-level Torkoals are used for their ability Drought to set up Sun in the best moneymaker in Pokemon, which is Gym Reruns and Gym Rebattles. Right now, the, I've already pre-looked at this, the cheapest Torkoal on the GTL with Drought is this one right here for 8k. So if we can find a Torkoal with Drought, which is a 50% chance, we're making like 7 to 8k per Torkoal, which is pretty, pretty insane. So I'm really excited to test the Pokemon per hour on this. We can also check to see if the Torkoal has drought before even catching it because in the battle you'll see the animation of Torkoal setting up sun with drought at the beginning of the battle so if we don't see that animation we can literally just run from the battle immediately and not even have to catch it to save a ton more time and make a ton more pokey in Torkoals also sell at a base price right now at around three to four k so that's something really important to mention and keep in mind Okay, let's cover the requirements really quick. You're going to need a catching type Pokemon, of course. I always recommend Breloom with Poison Heal and Toxic Orb, False Swipe Spore. Really, 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 really nice. Uh, it's also probably nice to bring a damp Pokemon here because you there's a chance you might encounter a shiny Geodude or a shiny Graveler. And if they have Explosion or Self Destruct, this is going to be a lifesaver at catching that shiny. So. Bring a damp Pokemon, a catching Pokemon, and I just have a backup catching Pokemon. There's also one more quick thing. You're actually going to need, well, of course, you're going to need Pokeballs to catch your Torkoal, so don't forget that. But you're actually also going to need a specific type of bike. You need the Acro Bike uh, in the Hoenn region to be able to get to this spot. So keep that in mind. Make sure you check your inventory. You're also going to need access to the Lava Ridge Town, of course, in Hoenn. All right, but that should be everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys from this spot in Lava Ridge Town how to get there. So we're going to head east, go in this little forest-looking spot, but it's actually going to take us to more of a cave location. You're going to hold the B button down on Pokemon Mo, and eventually, if you have an Acro Bike, you'll start jumping. So you're going to have to do that to maneuver over these weird little spots. Uh, come up here to this cave, and now we're in the Magma Hideout. Now, Torkoal has a common encounter chance in the magma hideout we can see here magma hideout level 28 to 30 common so we should be able to run back and forth right around this area uh, and encounter Torkoal decently commonly and now that we're here you guys can go ahead and try this method on your own but i'm going to start timing myself for one hour starting after the end of this clip and i'll be testing how much pokey in per hour is made but this is the point if this video was helpful to you i really would appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe thank you so very much see you guys after one hour all right, yo, 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 this is the last Torkoal of the hour. I'm just finishing up my one hour of farming. I'm really excited to head to the PC, sort all the Pokemon, and see how much money I made. I'm honestly not sure whether it's better to just catch Drought Torkoal or just catch every Torkoal you encounter. This one was not a Drought Torkoal. Um, not, yeah, not really great ideas, these either, but that's totally okay. Um, I caught some non-Drought Torkoal, and it ended up being super worth. Uh, it's, it's a close call. Torkoals do have a really good base value. Uh, I'm actually really interested interested to see whether it's better or not. I, I could do two hours testing that, but that's not the point of this video. Maybe we'll leave that to another video. But yeah, they have a base value of 3K. And yeah, I'm excited. I think I had a pretty above average uh, luck in terms of this hour. So I'm excited. I'll see you guys in a sec after we do some sorting. And I'll show you how many Torkoal we got. All right, after one hour of Torkoal farming, it looks like we got around 23 Torkoal. We also got some cool items. So we got, what is it, two Heat Rock. Go ahead and take those off. And then the one Charcoal. Let me grab that. So those won't go for too much Pokemon, but it's just some extra to put on top. Oops, <laughs> excuse me. This is a nice extra Pokemon to put on top, which is always appreciated. Let's sort Charcoal. Charcoal is surprisingly about 8k a pop, so that's not bad at all. Heat Rocks will be a lot less. Yeah, Heat Rocks are probably like 600, 600 Pokemon. I might just keep those. That's totally fine. 
Alright, I finally got all of my Torkoal clearly sorted out into so many different groups as you can see here. And I want to make a quick disclaimer that this kind of money making method really depends on the market. And it's a very fragile money making method in a sense. And it depends on how many people are farming Torkoal, etc, etc. This money making method is all about abusing the lack of Torkoal in the market because it has such a high demand. You're able to kind of uh, short the supply and like support the supply when it's not being supported enough for the demand. Torkoal is a really needed Pokemon for gym runs, you know, Drought Torkoal are super needed. It's also an extremely wanted Pokemon in PvP nowadays, and Torkoal is like kind of leaning towards moving up to the OU tier simply because of that Drought ability. Being able to summon weather upon entry is an extremely powerful effect, and it never goes unnoticed in Pokemon. There's also just a huge lack of Torkoal with decent IVs on the GTL. So with that in mind, you know, keep that in mind. Make sure you check the market before committing to this, this money-making method. And this price check might not be wholly accurate, but these are my numbers. So let's cover the first batch. This first batch are Torkoals with no IVs and not drought. So these will just go for 3k a piece. There's five of them. It's going to be 15k and this is all not including costs. I used around three Lepa Berries while up in the spot to uh, give my Breloom some Spore PP back. So consider, you know, some Lepa Berries, Pokeballs, and then the amount of Poke and it costs to list them, the listing fee. So 15k. For this batch right here let's go ahead and put that into the calculator on the side plus these are all torkles with drought these will go for 8k usually over time sometimes people dump torkles on the gtl like right now i think they're actually someone dumped torkles during the making of this video uh for around 3k each with drought but people will buy those up pretty quick and the market will stabilize back to the 8k a piece as long as too many people aren't farming Torkoal but I sh I'm definitely list these for around 7,999 Pokean and just take my time and be patient with them and they should sell so that'll be eight of these or excuse, yeah excuse me um, eight of these for 8,000 a piece gonna put me at 64k Pokean so 15k plus 64k 79,000 Pokeyen so far and then on to some of the more obscure prices so first things first um, these kind of these are 1 times 31 Torkoal that and then these three bottom ones have drought as you can see here and then this one is a 1 times 31 Torkoal with white smoke so it doesn't have drought it's the useless ability so we're good these are only going to be around 8k a piece uh, as as well as this one. So these four will be around 8k a piece as well. So that's going to bring our total up to around, what is that? What's the math on that? 32k on top of that? Yeah, around 32k. So adding 32k to our 79k plus 32k, putting us up to 111k already. And we haven't even gotten to the lucky ones yet. This money making method seems, seems insane if the economy and if the market allows for it. So on to these last couple ones. These are the cheapest ones though, by far. Uh, so these two on the right are really, really nice uh, noted IV Torkoal with drought. So they're 20 plus across in five stats, including a bunch of 25 plus and a 30 IV. This one's a bit less good, but still has drought and is 20 plus across and a lot of the stats that it needs. Torkoal actually doesn't need speed that bad just because it's speed, base stat speed is so horrendously low already. It's not going to be able to outspeed many Pokemon anyways, so it really doesn't matter. But those Torkoals should both go for around 20k each surprisingly, which really shocked me when I checked the GTL. But there's just, I, and I really down market as well. I really like make it pretty reasonable. I'm not just looking for, oh, what's the cheapest one available if it's like turbo overpriced and then marking it below that. I'm like really trying to give it a reasonable price based on my experience in the game uh, and what things should sell for. So then we also have these kind of notable notable Torkoals. These both have two times 30s uh, and some pretty cool stats and they're pretty interesting. These will probably go for like 5 to 10k each. I'm going to go 10k. Uh, and we'll add another 20k on top of the price so far. So putting us at 171,000 Pokeyen made already. And then I have two absolutely monstrous catch Torkoals to cover. So this is an extremely good one. And then we actually did get one 2 times 31 Torkoal. So these are the two absolute beasts and god catches of the run. I'm going to go ahead and price check these and get right back to you guys. Okay, my, I know my screen is going to look a little bit like a mess here, but I want to go ahead and make it really clear. So, 
These two at the top are my Torkoal, and this Torkoal is the one I'm comparing them to on the GTL that's listed for around 100k Pokemon, which I think is a super fair listing for this Torkoal. Uh, it's a pretty cool one, adamant in nature, so which doesn't really matter too much. This Torkoal has Drought, which is really important to consider. Uh, make sure you would consider abilities. 155 total IVs. This one's 145, but 2 times 31 this one's 156. Um, I do think that this one also has Drought. The, my left one has Drought, and my right one has White Smoke. I do think that this one is probably slightly better than kind of both of my Torkoals, since my 30 is in speed here, and his 30 is in special defense, and I have 20 special defense. I do have higher special attack. Uh, I do have higher attacks on mine, which is pretty nice. Uh, one of his 30 ones is HP as well. Torkoal is more of a defensive Pokemon that can also just do some damage. So I definitely think his is a little better, being at 100k. Uh, and his is better than mine in different reasons. So, I feel pretty comfortable listing both of these Torkoals at around 80k a piece. And that might even be underselling them, but we'll have to see on that. This is a lot of luck factored in as well, so keep that in mind. This, the Pokemon per hour on this is going to be ridiculous due to the, the RNG on, on that. So, I'm going to do 80k a piece times 2. This was a very lucky hour. We still have to add the charcoal too. Comes out to 160k plus our 171k, which is the price we're already at, plus the 8k for the charcoal, which means I made roughly around 339,000 Poke in per hour, which is obviously surreal, obviously inflated. This kind of method will not last for long, uh, and it won't last with multiple people doing it. It's going to take me a long time to sell all the Torkoals. There's a lot of issues with this method to you know denote and keep in mind, but I do think that after around a week or so, that 339,000 Pokemon within one hour of catching Torkoal is actually valid, which is insane um, and crazy. And I also had really good luck. So with a lot, a, kind of all the stars aligned for this money-making method, and I do want to just make a ton of disclaimers to you guys. Uh, don't expect to be making this much Pokemon per hour, but I'm thankful that I did. I'm thankful that I did this time. So <laughs> pretty happy with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope it was uh, helpful and, you know, beneficial to you and really help you guys out hopefully you'll be able to find some good spots in the economy to come back and you know follow this guide and follow this method and make a ton of poke in that would be awesome i don't want it to be like a one-time thing i'm sure the market will constantly uh restabilize at different times and become available to make this a good money making method or not just depending on the timing but anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and click that like button if it was helpful to you. Also, subscribe to this channel. I really would appreciate that. It's the best channel on YouTube to stay up to date with Pokemon content, learn about the game, learn about money making, PvP, shiny hunting, and everything of the like. Uh, check out the description for tons of playlist links and guides and more Pokemon information. Also, check out the Discord link there. Join a beautiful community that is absolutely turbo growing and really cool. And they love answering questions and asking questions all day long. And you can just learn a ton just by being in that Discord and being a fly on the wall it is one of the best ways to learn about this game at an incredible pace. Also, consider becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month. That is the best way to support me and the best way to keep me making videos and make it so I can you know help you guys and give that information. Thank you guys so very very much have an absolutely incredible day and best of luck at torkles or whatever money making method you're doing today